Hey everybody, Greg Koch here, 605 Running Company, and today I'm talking about the Hoka Clayton, wait, Clayton? Mach 2. <laughs> so, you might consider this the Clayton version 4. So back in the day when, when Hoka was getting started, they had the Clifton, and then they came out with their first uh, lighter version of the Clifton, and it was the Clayton, um, and they had the Clayton 1 and the Clayton 2, and what was nice about it is had, it had a wider toe box on it. It was lighter weight. It was a little bit more reduced, a little bit more responsive, but still offered that good cushion. Um, and they called it the Clayton. Well, they dropped that two years ago and introduced the Mach 1, and now we have the Mach 2. Essentially, it's the same shoe. Um, I wanted to talk about this shoe today because it's one that I've been pulling out of my closet quite a bit, and I've really enjoyed running in this shoe. Hoka makes a lot of fantastic shoes. They make a lot of really great lightweight neutral trainers. Some of them have gotten a lot of publicity lately and you've heard a lot about them if you've been following on other uh, social media pages or if you've been following Hoka in general as a brand. Um, the, the Rincon has recently been released and has done quite well. And then the Carbon X is the world record setting shoe that you've heard a ton about. But uh, I haven't heard much about the Mach 2, um, aka in my version the Clayton 4. Um, but this shoe is from the, the Pro Fly series, the, the kind of lightweight, go fast shoes um, from Hoka, and that is the, no exception to this one. This is a great shoe. You can log a ton of training miles on it. It's a fun option. Again, it's one that I consistently pull. And what I like about it is it is a little bit less than a Clifton. It's not quite so much shoe as a Clifton. It's a bit more responsive, which I appreciate. I kind of like those lightweight, responsive, neutral shoes. So personally, that's what I've been running in. And this is my shoe, size 13, which is why it's so big, the size of my face. Um, but it's a fun trainer. Um, one of the things that I was worried about with this shoe is it has a lot of exposed foam on the bottom and that it would just grind down and not work out so well. As you can see, it has worn well, but it hasn't completely worn out and it, it still works for uh, what I use it for, which is a road shoe. Um, obviously, it's not a trail shoe. You won't take this on trails and expect to get a ton of grip. So this works for what I ask it to do. And what I ask it to do lately is a lot of my everyday mileage. So even though it's a lightweight neutral trainer um, that you can use in a race setting, you can definitely train in it daily. And I encourage training in this shoe daily. I really like pulling this shoe. I've had a lot of fun in it. It's not the Rincon because um, it's not quite as soft, I would say. It's a bit more responsive. Uh, it's not the Carbon X because it doesn't have a carbon plate in it, um, but uh, it is somewhere in between. It's lightweight, it's responsive, it's a fun run shoe to run in. For me, it's, it's consistently one of the top shoes that I pull out of my giant closet full of shoes. So this shoe is available at 605 Running Company along with the Rincon, the Carbon X, the Kavu, the Clifton. Um, we've got them all. So we are big Hoka fans, but I wanted to, to pull your attention here to the Mach 2 today because I think it's a, definitely worth your time to check out. If you've heard about some of those other shoes, you're not quite sure. Visit us, try them all on, and see which one you want to run in next. Bye!